Do you suffer from allergies, be it from pet, pollen, food, or any kind of allergy? Then this video is for you. I'm Dr. Karen Drummond, owner of Drummond Chiropractic, and I'm gonna be sharing with you why you may be having allergies, why you may not wanna do over-the-counter remedies for allergies, and what you can do naturally to find relief. Now, before you follow any advice from any video, check with your healthcare provider to make sure it's appropriate for your specific condition, and hopefully that's one of us here at Drum Chiropractic. So why are you suffering from allergies? Allergies are a sign that your immune system's a little bit confused. Your immune system is attacking particles found in dander, food, or pollen, and acting like it's a pathogen, like a bacteria, or a fungus, or a virus. And it's not a bad thing that your immune system's attacking pathogens, but when it attacks things that are not attacking you, it gives you the symptoms for like runny nose or itchy eyes because your immune system causes inflammation and that's what gives you the symptoms. So what can you do about it? A lot of people just take things like Benadryl or other antihistamines and the problem with this is short term it's fairly safe, it has some side effects, but the long term is that it can increase your risk of dementia. So I'm going to give you some advice on how to help you find relief naturally. Some people advise just avoid the things you're allergic to. Well, this isn't always practical, especially if it's things like pollen. Pollen's in the air you breathe. So how are you gonna avoid that? It's not like you can stop breathing. Or even if it's things you can avoid, like pet dander or certain foods, well, it's not, still not practical because you're gonna find yourself in situations where you're exposed to these particles. And then you're gonna have a serious adverse reaction because the more you avoid your allergy, the more sensitive your body is gonna be to it. So here's my advice. The number one thing you can do that's the simplest thing to do is stay hydrated. Drink plenty of water, at least a third of your weight in ounces. Because if you're dehydrated, your body's gonna produce more histamines and that's what makes you have that inflammation reaction that gives you the symptoms of allergies. So if you're hydrated, you're gonna get less symptomatic when you get exposed to your allergens. So another way you can educate your immune system and teaching it what are good antigens and what are bad antigens is by eating honey and very specifically local honey. Even if you don't have allergies to pollen, it's still a good idea to eat honey because honey has the antigens of the flora that's in your environment. And if there's a high pollen count, that's gonna strain your immune system. And, but if you eat honey, it'll recognize it more readily that it's an environmental factor and not a pathogen. If you have food allergies, my general advice is to try the rotation diet. What that means is when you eat something, you don't eat it for four days. This will do several things. One, it'll only expose to your digestive tract once every four days, so it's completely out of your system before you get re-exposed to it. Plus, it'll force you to have more variety of foods. If you're just eating one kind of food a lot, you can become sensitive to it because it's in your stomach, in your small intestine, in your colon, and it's, you're just overexposed to that antigen, which can get your immune system to start thinking this might not be a good thing. And if you're only eating a few things, that means you might not be diverse enough in your diet so that when you eat outside of that comfort zone, then your immune system might think this new food is a pathogen because it's never seen it before. So we were really designed to have lots of different food items and our modern diet tends to be a little bit more restricted. So add variety to your diet and that should help your immune system. Another thing you can do is incorporate more anti-inflammatory foods. Remember, allergies are a sign of being in an inflamed state. So if you eat foods that calm that inflammation down, that'll lessen the severity of your allergic symptoms. Another way I explain allergies is that it's a sign that your body is over-inflamed and exposed to too many inflammatory things. So another thing you can try, other than the anti-inflammatory diet, is find things that are inflammatory and eliminate them as best as you can from your environment. So in your home, check for things like mold. There are home kits you can buy to check for mold in your home, but also check for mold outside your home. Because if there's mold in your home, you wanna make sure that it's not just mold you find in the general environment. And once you check the mold levels outside of your home and inside of your home, and you can take the difference, if there's a big difference that there's a lot more mold inside your home than outside your home, then you know that you have a problem and you need to find the source of that mold and treat it accordingly. Another thing you can do is get air purifying systems to make sure that you're removing particles that might be irritating your system. Another way to decrease inflammation and in things like your nasal cavities is to do a sinus rinse. You can't help breathe pollen, but you can at least clean it out. 
I prefer using nasal rinses in the evening, that way all night long I'm breathing through a cleaner nasal passage because in the day it's just going to get filled with who knows what as you breathe the air. Another thing I would avoid is chemicals like artificial perfumes and air fresheners. These are basically poison. Instead, I would do essential oils that help decrease the inflammation. Things like frankincense or peppermint, eucalyptus, these are all anti-inflammatory oils that are actually healthy to breathe and smell nice. And if you have a pet and you suffer from allergies, even if you're not allergic to your pet, I wouldn't sleep with your pet. Because again, that's filling your cup so that the last straw might be the allergy that you think you're allergic to. And wash your sheets regularly. You want to make sure your sheets are clean and removed with a dander. Even if you don't sleep with your pet, the dander is going to find its way into the bed sheets. And when washing your sheets and washing your clothes, make sure you use laundry soap that is not full of chemicals. Try to go as natural as possible and don't use dryer sheets. That's just gonna to add to your chemical exposure. And one more thing I'm gonna suggest, and yes, I'm absolutely biased, but try chiropractic. One thing I love about chiropractic is we do more than just relieve neck and back pain. When we get the body moving well, blood flows better, and lymph drains, and the nerves function better, and can you see how that's gonna make your body work more optimally? It will result in less allergies. So I will say we do not treat for allergies, but it can be a side effect that you have less allergy symptoms. And that's the bonus of chiropractic. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, please post them below. And until next time, stay well. The drama different. The drama different.